Hey, this is Jason Creel. In this video, I am going to try a homemade weed killer recipe that's popular. And the recipe goes like this. A gallon of vinegar, a cup of table salt, and a uh, tablespoon of dish soap. Now, the dish soap is going to act as a surfactant, you know, and in my business, like doing weed control and fertilization, we use other herbicides to kill weeds with, but we're going to see how this works in a weedy area. I'm going to spray some of the area and not spray some of the area so we can compare what's been sprayed and what's not been sprayed. Uh, and I'm going to half the recipe. I'm going, to, I'm going to mix it in this sprayer. This sprayer's never been used before, so it's not contaminated with any herbicides. Uh, so this is a half a gallon of vinegar, so I'm going to use a half a cup of this uh, and then use a little dish soap for the surfactant and help it stick to the plant. Now I will say this, uh, I, I would not do this in the yard or anywhere you're wanting to have desirable plants grow again because putting salt in your yard is, is not a good idea. So this would, in my opinion, be something you'd want to do like in a flower bed area around where you, where you don't want anything to grow. You know, obviously you don't want to spray it on any, any plants you want to keep. So that's what we're going to try today is spray it on an area like that. So let me mix it up here start with the, the half a gallon of vinegar all right Go with a half a cup of table salt. And the dish soap. I'm not gonna measure it out. It's not gonna be in the world if you get a little too much in there. But it's gonna, you know, help it stick to the plant a little bit. All right, so there's our recipe. Now I'm gonna shake it up real good. Determine agitation is what we're going for to make it all, uh, you know, agitate it all, make it a solution and not clump together. And then we're gonna spray. I'll show you the weeds we're gonna spray. And then what we're gonna do is just come back and kind of check on it and see how, see what it looks like tomorrow, see what it looks like a few days from now. And, and ultimately make a final conclusion on how well this recipe works. So let's get started right now. All right, so this flower bed area really doesn't have a lot of plants we want to keep. I mean, there's a little bit of this Mondo grass, but I wouldn't care if it died, to be honest with you. This is old crepe myrtle that had been cut down and just putting up shoots. I don't think it's going to kill that, just to be honest with you. But there are some, some grassy weeds and some broadleaf weeds mixed in here. About the only thing we want to keep is, I uh, apologize for the shadows, would be like these uh, daylily. So I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to spray those areas, but I'm, I want to spray this whole area here and be able to, to see the results. Okay, so let me uh, agitate it. put a link also to this little sprayer. It's a two gallon sprayer off, off Amazon. And I've tried several little handheld sprayers. This is about the best one for the money. It's not, uh, not very expensive, um, maybe 30 something dollars. You know, not, not perfect, but it, it does, uh, it works. I use them a lot in my own business. All right, so let's start spraying. Definitely smells like vinegar. I want to try it on the grassy weeds as well as the broad leaf to see if there's much of a difference in how well it works on one versus the other.
Okay, so I got pretty good coverage in that situation. Like I said, we'll come back and check on it and, and continue this video showing you the results and then we'll make a final conclusion. All right, so we're the next day after the initial application of the table salt, dish soap, and vinegar, and let's see what it looks like on the following day. Okay, so you can see here, and this seems to be what, what happens, you got just a little bit of burn on the leaf there, and you can see how there's some discoloration on the leaf. Let's see where we got a little bit heavier application. I sprayed a lot of this broadleaf weeds here. You see in there where the leaves are really turning colors, and I believe that's the vinegar that does most of that. Um, but you know, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but that would be my guess. It kind of burns down the leaf and makes the plant sick where it basically is not going to be able to survive. You can see here where it's, you know, that, that plant is really starting to struggle a little bit. So, you know, nothing crazy. It's not like it just wiped it out overnight or anything, but definitely starting to have some effects and get a little distance view. And you can see the grassy weeds, the, the brown color that's putting on the leaves. So we're going to keep tracking this over the next um, several days and see how how it looks in the, in the coming week. Hey, so it's been about five days since the initial application of the uh, natural weed control probably with the vinegar, the dish soap, and the table saw. So let's see what it looks like now. Okay, so of course, you know, we're not gonna, not gonna kill these crepe marble shoots. Those are very difficult to get rid of. Look at the, the grassy weeds. You can see where it's really uh, burning the leaves at the bottom, but they're, they're still alive. So I, I don't know uh, if these are gonna die. We can keep watching it. But, you know, it seems to me, uh, I believe it would kill. I think if I'm learning anything from this, you really gotta get a good uh, application, like, like get it good and, and wet on the leaf coverage. Because you can see here all the brown and you know just leaves turning brown and the, this plant you know just looks horrible i mean so it definitely works i mean but i think you just got to get a really good coverage for it to you know have its effect because i think that vinegar is just really burning the leaves now you can see over here where some that you know did not get uh, much done to it at all and they, they're still a lot of green there so versus the ones that, that were sprayed so you know i think these weeds are going to continue to die i mean if i did a little better application but what we're going to do is uh, continue the video and check on it one more time before we make our final conclusion on how well this worked tell you what i'm going to do on this uh natural weed kill i'm going to spray it a little bit more it's been about five days and see if getting a little bit better coverage on it will make it more effective It's not that it wasn't working, it was obviously working, but I just think maybe if I get a little bit better coverage on the leaves, it'll damage the leaves to the point that the plant will actually die. So we'll see, we'll uh, keep tracking it. Let's check, make our, so let's make our final checkup on the natural weed killer and see how the results are. It's been uh, several days after the last check. I'm gonna say it's been a little over a week since our initial application. And these things may continue to die, but I want to just uh, I don't want to drag the video out any longer than it needs to be. But we're going to be able to tell um, by looking at these weeds and show you the effect that this application has had on the weeds. 
All right, and I'll say this. I, I didn't just give it the, the easiest test ever. This is definitely an overgrown flower bed. If you had very young weeds that were smaller, probably would have seen even better results. And so, you know, it, it's definitely um, taken its toll on this, on this grassy weed. What would be interesting to me, interesting to me, is if I were to take a string trimmer and cut these down, would they come back? Or is there enough damage done to the plant that it wouldn't come back? And would the salt, you know, keep keep the, um, you know, kind of keep it weed free for a while? You can see these uh, other weeds and all the, the damage done and the, the brown that's all over them and, you know, lots of brown leaves there. And, Again, it, the more coverage you get on them, I think the more vinegar you put in there and just douse it with vinegar, you're gonna get even more extreme results. Um, but it does show that it definitely does work and have some effect. And again, I, I do think if I cut these down, I don't think they would come back because I, I do think it'll, they will continue to die. Now, of course, like we talked about, it's not gonna like take out a a crepe myrtle tree or anything like that this is one that's been cut down it keeps coming back so but these broadleaf weeds that we're looking at and the grassy weeds over there it definitely has some effectiveness appreciate you watching leave your comments give it a thumbs up maybe you learned something it's something you can try at your own house if you want to see how well it works now again i wouldn't do this somewhere that you wanted to actually come back and plant flowers or something like that this is more for an area where you don't want anything to grow because the salt uh, is not going to be good for the soil for actually growing uh, future plants desirable plants in that area so keep that in mind told you guys later thank you bye